Hi everyone and welcome to your collective tarot love messages. The reading here today isn't specifically intended for any sign, but I believe if you've clicked on this reading, you have been led here, you've obviously been guided here, and there may just be a message or two that um, you might need to hear, or perhaps even something that you need to be reminded of. It is going to be a general reading, so just please keep that in mind. Um, and there's also going to be a part two, an extension to this reading, which is going to be made available via the extension link below. Uh, for those of you interested in a personalized tarot reading, one in which the messages are tailored to you personally and your situation, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed just below the video. Otherwise, let's go ahead and take a look what messages the universe has for you at this point in time. So whether you're single, whether you're in a relationship or coupled up, um, or just what messages the universe holds for you. The universe has definitely been trying to reach you and I feel like for a lot of you the universe has been trying to send you messages, okay? At the end of the day, you know, you are connected to the universe in many, in countless ways, in countless intricate ways and, um, you know, much like the threads of the universe are sort of woven into your fabric, okay? And it feels like especially as of recently the universe... Um, through these threads, through these fabrics, the universe has been trying to send you a message. In fact, I feel like it's been trying to send you several messages. For some of you, I feel like you've been very receptive to these messages. Uh, for some of you, maybe you've been um, a little bit... Um, you know, you've been sort of dismissing them as coincidences. Um, but there is a good chance that the universe here has been sending you... And it feels like they're reoccurring messages as well that I feel like have been trying to guide you that um, on the journey that you're on. So I'm seeing a lot of reoccurring experiences. For some of you, have you noticed that you've been in a position where the same thing happens, seems to happen to you, whether in relationships or whether with work or whether as of recently, it just feels like, for, and this is just an example, for, exa um, for example, you keep you know stubbing your toe every time you get up in the morning or you keep spilling a drink or you, you know you keep spilling your drink or you keep losing your phone or your car keys okay there's a message that comes with it um, it's you know at first glance it might seem um, something very coincidental but there's a lot more deeper meaning here dreams as well okay I feel like for some of you you have been open to receiving these messages and you have um, you've been experiencing a lot of vivid dreams because when we're asleep, we're in tune with our un um, with our unconscious mind, um, and you know, long enough for the messages to be sent and received to us. Uh, for others of you, you're receiving messages through animals, um, a, like a particular animal, whether it's your pet, your neighbor's pet, or whether you keep like animals all of a sudden find themselves really like drawn to you uh, or even like animal behavior okay um, if your pet uh, has been behave uh, behaving very differently or not themselves it can be a sign of maybe unfulfilled desires or unfulfilled 
uh, things that are yet to come okay um like for example for some of you you might be you might be seeing a lot of birds okay a lot of birds that or you might have recently bought a bird or a lot of you see a lot of birds flying in the sky you know uh, or flying in flocks you know that might be a sign that you're going to be traveling to uh, you're going to be traveling soon or you might or you might need to travel okay or you might land a job that might have something to do with air travel patterns of numbers are another big one 11 11 okay some of you and that's a really common one but seeing repeating numbers such as 11 11 or consecutive numbers such as like 1 2 3 uh, these are a sign of like they're a form of communication from the universe and you need to look out for the patterns because there are hidden messages within those patterns. Um, more importantly, you need to pay very close attention to what you're doing when you see these patterns. Okay, so are you, you are you on your own? Are you with a certain person when you see these patterns? Um, you know, are you always doing something in particular? Like, are you watching TV? Are you listening to a certain song? I feel like you. The thing is, you have to decipher. Okay, because those messages, especially with repeated number patterns. Um, those messages are very unique to you, okay? Um, and you have to personally decipher what they mean. Unfortunately, you know, tarot readers cannot interpret that for you because it's something, it's like this very personal and intimate conversation the universe is, have, um, is trying to have with you. Therefore, I say it's so important that you pay close attention to, you know, what you see, what you feel, what you, you can hear, you touch and taste when you see those repeated patterns because there's definitely, definitely hidden numbers. And for some of you, it is concerning a certain romantic individual or it's concerning something in your life that I feel like needs changing, needs fixing, growing or evolving. Synchronicity is, of course, another big one. A lot of you have been, and if you haven't yet, you will be, um, experiencing a lot of synchronistic events around a certain um, individual, around a certain um, situation. Um, for example, some of you may, be, especially as of recently, and some of you might even been um, a little bit taken aback by this. Don't be, you know, freaked out by it. But you might think of a certain person, and all of a sudden they may just call you, text you, or you know, you might think of a person you haven't thought of in so long, and then all of a sudden you just bump into them on, um, in the street. Most often or not, this is a sign. It's a sign to tell you that you're on the right path. It's a sign to, um, it's a sign that your thoughts are aligning with your reality, are aligning with the reality that you're creating for yourself. Um, and sometimes it is uh, like a big resounding yes from the universe, okay, to confirm that yes, you're headed, you know, in the right direction, or you're headed towards the right person, you're headed in the right, you know, um, on the right path, so to speak. So it's actually a really good sign, especially if you've been experiencing some of this lately, know that you're on the right path, whatever path that may be for you. Um, objects, okay, tangible objects, if some of you have been spilling your glass or breaking your glass as of recently, um, I feel like you know, these little tokens, any tokens, any tangible objects, cups, gla um, I don't know, like glasses, car keys, okay? Um, I feel like the universe is trying to send you a message through these tokens. Um, so, for example, if you keep breaking something, it might just be a sign that you need to let go of the past, okay? Um, or if you keep losing something, okay, you might need to... Um, try and restore something or you might need to try and rediscover something okay it, again you have to sort of pay attention to what it is that you keep breaking or to what it is that keeps showing up or you keep losing there's some sort of message that i feel like is being strongly communicated through those specific tokens songs music lyrics have, some of you have had a song that has just been stuck in your head or you've just randomly, you know, you woke up one morning with a song. Um, like you, maybe you're drawn to a specific piece of music. You're drawn to a specific sound. Um, see, our minds often make a very uh, creative yet a very complex association between music and our emotions. So really pay attention because I feel like the universe is allowing you to tune into certain like 
songs to certain lyrics to convey information that is important to you. So for example, you might be holding on to some very powerful um, um, emotions and you're not necessarily processing them, but hearing a certain song allows you that outlet to, you know, feel those emotions and, you know, let those emotions flow through you, much in line with the rhythm of the song, the music, weather, okay, in particular, weather. Um, it can possibly be a message from the universe. Okay, how so? How can weather be a message that, you know, you're on the right path or you need to pay attention to something? Well, um, for example, for some of you, you might be longing for sunshine, okay? Um, or you might be longing for rain, okay? For rain, for storm, uh, for rainy weather, you know, longing for, I'm going to take rain as an example, but if you've been really longing for rain lately, it just may be a sign that you might need to, you know, wash away some recent events, some recent events that are unhealthy or that are toxic, you know, maybe, you know, or maybe even you need to cleanse, sort of like wash away certain resentments, angers, emotions, um, or like cleanse and purge yourself of these emotions. Some of you, I feel like, have had, have found yourself in an unexpected chance of meeting with people, and this sort of coincidence, if you will, is definitely a sign from the universe that you're on the right track. So, if you happen to think about, you know, wanting to secure a certain job, and then you jump on the internet and you see that there's an opening for it, you know, these are all signs. Signs you're coming into alignment. It's signs that you're, you know, you're on the right track. Feelings are another huge messenger from the universe and from our, you know, higher self, our, um, our minds. So some of you have been extremely overwhelmed by some of the emotions that you're feeling. Okay, You might become suddenly very overcome with excitement, with passion, with enthusiasm, or maybe with fear, trepidation. Um, you know, a sense of yearning, a sense of longing. Um, it's just, I'm getting all sorts of emotions here and it feels overwhelming and it feels intense here. And some of you have been feeling this way for quite some time. Um, and you might be even, like, you, know, you might be in a safe place, you might live in a safe place, but you might all of a sudden find yourself really overcome with fear. Those are important messages, okay? It may be a good, like, Especially, like, I'm going to take fear as an example because there's just so many emotions out there. But I'm drawn to the devil in this instance, so let's go with fear and trepidation. Even if you're in a safe place, safe place or space here in your life, but you feel a sense of fear, it just might be a reason to for you to take extra caution. Extra caution, you know, when when going outside. Extra caution when getting involved into relationships. You know, just um, taking, um, just being extra cautious, basically. Gut feelings. Pay close attention to any intuitive gut feelings that you have around a certain person, around a certain situation. Okay, these are these feelings are products of your um, of a really active unconscious mind. Okay, and it's definitely trying to relay a message to you from the beyond. So don't ignore those gut feelings. Those gut feelings, you know, always will want what's right for you, never what's wrong for you. Okay, um, these are just some of the signs and messages that I feel like a lot of you are getting from the universe. Now, in part two, we want to go um, go a little bit deeper and explore maybe the path that you're on right now and what messages you need to, um, you know, you need to learn. You know, do you need to redirect your career path? Do you need to leave, leave certain people behind? What is it that you should do next? You know, what is it that you shouldn't do next? We just want to see, you know, what... Um, basically what lies ahead for you and what you know unfolds next so follow me to part two of the reading via the extension link below thank you guys for your time your energy your attention please show your support if you haven't already by subscribing uh, to the channel by liking sharing commenting bye for now